If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work in deep. Quick fixes become better diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. Hello. Guess who's back? Back again. Jess, she's back. Tell a friend. Um, welcome back um, to episode seven of Declutter with me. October's 10 to 10. Um, my face is really bright on there. It's a bit dark down here. Let me see if I might turn that, turn that down a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, wrong way, that way. Quite bright. Is that better? No, no, that'll do. Might be the phone screen. <laughs> kind of hides hides the fact that I have no makeup on. <laughs> this is always good. So today we are looking at arts and crafts. This I've kind of allowed this to get a little bit more messy. Normally I would have done some little tidy ups for her on this, but I knew we were doing this, so I thought, well, no point. And um, so we actually have three arts and crafts zones in our house. <laughs> Um, but they are slightly split into separate categories. So as always, we categorize first. Um, so we have, this is my daughter's arts and crafts. We have my arts and crafts, which pretty much doesn't, I don't need to do anything to this. It was just if I find a thing in hers that meant to be in mine. Um, so some of this is stuff that she will use, but very, very much with mummy supervision. Um, so I have some glitter paints and acrylic paints. Um, some candle making bits and pieces but um, and some random little bits and, and stuff that I just I just not not for her to use by herself I am going to tidy these into this envelope here because I meant to put them away and I haven't oh no that's the wrong one <laughs> that's not the one I want I think this is the one I want and um, so a few bits and pieces in here I would at some point maybe do a little bit more of a, a sort out on this um and at some point we'd quite like to downsize and then we might make this a combination of mine and hers as we use up some of the bits of mine and some of the bits of hers is sort of merge the two together um but for the moment this is predominantly all mine it's things like glue gums and um more extreme bits and pieces uh my staple gun what are those candle making wicks that should be in that pouch there so the other candle making stuff there's like some pliers and, and bits and pieces so it's much much more mummies arts and crafts my laminator some stamp things and um, so she does use some of this stuff but it's predominantly mine and then we have a painting arts and crafts trolley that is for um, like furniture upcycling so it has like the wood filler and some sandpaper on it and some of the different pots of paint and cleaning cloths and things like that and then I can wheel it to wherever I'm doing one of my painting projects and things but this is the main one we're going to deal with today so I'm going to start by pulling it all out now who's ready for some fun facts um I love a fun fact um children actually play better with less stuff <laughs> Their stuff they don't get overwhelmed if they open a cupboard and see chaos they're gonna find it really tricky to sort of come up with a clear plan for what they actually want to do and um, they're gonna end up not doing anything with the things um i need some more toilet rolls for i'm gonna take those out because there's always more toilet rolls coming um i'm collecting up and doing something with the curtains with toilet rolls which i'll probably turn to a reel so you'll see that one at some point um and then also crackers. We make our own crackers at Christmas. So I will take those ones out. And um, this is kind of already organized. I might see if it fits in a smaller box, but that is Play-Doh. Um, and again, so we'll get, we got this all in one set, but it had, had a couple of dark color Play-Dohs that she didn't really use. And when she did, they just mucked up the pretty pinks. So we cleared out some of it and it had loads of weird attachments. She didn't use all of them. So we just limited them down just into two boxes, gave away one box that had the thing she didn't use that much in it, didn't notice. 
And she would have possibly used them, but she's also got enough there to use. I'm going to just pull a blanket under my foot because my feet are hurt and sitting on the floor. Um, because it's hard and it's gold. Um, but she didn't need all of it, so we got rid of that. Um, some scrap bits of, oh, I hate, like, foily things. Stickers that have lost their stick because they don't... Let's make a little bin tree. They, um can't be recycled <laughs> I don't think it can't be recycled I think we've done most of this box one I think we might take this away at a half term to finish it off okay I'm gonna take that out anyway oh, this shouldn't be in there it's not arts and crafts at all her granny got it for her she absolutely loves it I think it's hideous <laughs> But it shouldn't be in here so it can go to a new new place. And um, that has got some little buttons in, which I'm going to relocate onto my trolley to go upstairs. Let's put them in today. Little bit ones. Um, so we've got a couple of pots of crayons in here. We've got blooming goldfish. This was a great idea when she was tiny, but I just don't use it now very much. Like I secretly want to, for it to disappear somewhere, vanish. And um, I tell you where this would be cool is my sister's got a big outdoor paddling pool in the summer. We should, maybe I'll get away with gifting it to <laughs> gifting it to my sister for her kids instead, and then my daughter can use it when she goes to see them. Uh, so this is all face paints in this one. This is one is fairly recently sorted. So because I had to sort it all out to help at the school event um, with all the face paints together. I do have some brushes that I'm cleaning that need to go back in there. But other than that, that is pretty sorted too. And then this has become a bit of a bomb site. A bit of a bomb site. So at the moment she has one of these is so one was paper and then the other one was more books and sticker books um but they've become a bit of a mess she has a pencil case for pencils and um, this is all stickers and like bits of fabric uh bits of fabric bits of paper that you can cut up sort of shiny bits and things i don't tend to buy any of this it just seems to miraculously appear places um that stickers that can go in there um i don't know where and why <laughs> very irritating um but yeah it's um and then that's empty that's rubbish it's fine um that is a plain piece of card that is rubbish too she wasn't even rubbish relating to the arts and crafts and then we have so one of these is usually um her crayons, her pencil cases in here, her chalk pencil case, other little bits and pieces, and it normally doesn't look anything like this, so that definitely needs to sort out. This one is normally in one of the stand-up folders, and it's anything to do with card making. So I know there's some other envelopes here that I popped in when we did the uh, decluttering of the drawer, the junk drawer up here, had some empty envelopes in, so they can go into here. Ah. Um, we have a mat for the table. You don't need to buy fancy mats. Just go to a local fabric shop um, and ask them for some wipeable fabric. And then you can get one that's definitely big enough to cover your table. So this is massive. It covers the table. But also it's quite pretty. So we can still use it for birthday parties and things as um, a tablecloth for birthday parties. Um, it's got a few bits of paint on it, but nothing too major. Um, and then when it gets really, really gross, it becomes um, like a DIY mat and I get her a new mat. Um, so, but this, the other one did us through the first few like horrendous kiddie years and she's much tidier now. So this one should probably get us through to the end of junior school at the very least. Um, and then paints, which she has a lot of. <laughs> Um, so I bought just a massive pot of white paint um, and then a little box of colouring pods, which is in here somewhere. Uh, somewhere, she says, famous last word. It's about, oh, 
they, they're they also suitable for food colouring. So they've actually gone into the baking basket. Um, and I mixed up a load of the whites with different ones. And we still have um, some of the white left. Um, it's in the garage outside. Um, some of these need topping up. They sound a bit runny. Um, but these have been going for years now. Um, and I can just top each one up. They've still got some paint going on in them. Um, however, we don't paint at home very often anymore. So as these run out, probably not going to top them up. Um, and there's a couple. Ah, so there you go. I decanted the white into this one. So what I will do is I'm going to top. I'm going to leave some of these. I'll get this out later and I will top these up um, to use up the white with the colours. Um, but I will probably reduce some of these down a bit. Um, merge the two pinks together and um, probably get rid of the brown she doesn't really use that she just likes the pretty colors so my daughter um to make a little bit more space in here um and then she's got a pot with paint brushes in her kind of paint brushes glue sticks pva glue that kind of thing um do these all fit nicely they do and then her aprons go in that box too um but we never let her use all the paint colors in one go anyway we normally do three at a time and um, so there doesn't need to be so many um and to be honest i much rather she just use pencils and then painting at, at school um so it's more for like the holidays when we want a bit more things for her to do and I also might look at the oh no the shelf can't come down because it's got the uh the papers on it although so this just fits in under here but could i have it there oh so i might reduce the shelf down to here hmm, hmm. it's a thought it's a thought probably won't no, not going to. Just thinking about the shelf configuration I want to go for. Um, so I know that we are basically categorised in here already um, and everything is fairly well grouped together. That is already sorted. So I've gained this from decluttering the drawer that I think these might fit into. So I'm going to see about that first. What do I move on oh maybe not it's not quite wide enough to do three across um, let's see let me see do, 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 do. rolling pin down the middle another rolling pin because you always need two rolling pins don't you obviously obviously um It kind of all fits. I feel like it fits close enough. What's this? That one and that one are basically the same thing. So let's let go of that. Now you might think it's just a tiny thing. Why even bother? But actually, it's the difference between it fitting in here and not fitting in here. And it's one less thing to pick up when we tidy up from Play-Doh time. And I don't know about you, but I like having one less thing to pick up. So that's all sorted. That's all fine. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. Um, we seem to have lost some print sticks. So these are quite useful as much as I don't want to promote plastic. <laughs> see-through bags are really handy. So see-through pencil cases so that we can see what everything is, particularly when little ones are small. It's a lot easier than having a label on something. But what you could do is have a picture of the thing on the outside. So they just have to look for that. But that does mean you need to put a label on both sides because children We'll just look at it and be like, there's no label on it in that side. So label both sides or go for the see-through ones. Um, when she has friends to stay, we do have a couple of extra pots of crayons. I had these left over from an event. There were about five pots of them at one point. We now only have two, which makes life a lot easier. Um, however, I think I'm going to move these to the party box. We have a party box in the loft, which means that there's less stuff to deal with in this cupboard. So they can go up there. Um, what have we got here? That needs to go in a little box that we're going to take away with us. So this um, was a number one balloon. 
someone was listing 16, uh, the giant 16 balloons. I won't buy balloons and I will blow it up with air, not helium, um, because I'm an eco-warrior nut person. And but we, we couldn't get rid of, but I got the 16 for free off someone else. And I listed the one for ages and nobody bit. So I folded it up, deep greased it, and it can go in here and she can cut it up and use it for some arts and crafts. What have we got here? Pumpkin cat mask stencil thing. It's really creepy. I don't want, none of our pumpkins look that creepy. I tend to do our own, so I'm gonna accidentally lose that. Now, I'm sure people have lots of opinions on getting rid of your kid's stuff without them knowing. Um, but in the end, if she hasn't been able to maintain the space, um, and I believe she should have been able to maintain the space, then there's too much stuff in it. Okay, toilet rolls out. So we have a couple of games in here that don't belong in this cupboard. She has a cupboard here with some game bits in. So I will put those in there later. Um, and then starting to see the light of day with this drawer. Um, so we have another pencil case. So she has a Pritt stick one, which seems to be quite low on Pritt sticks these days. Um, she's a Pritt stick one. She has one that's got little bits that you stick on stuff. So if we get birthday cards that have stupid bits on, I tend to take them off and put them in there. And she has crayons. She has a proper pencil case for her pencils because someone gifted it to her. Um, so might as well. I'm going to make sure she's got actual pencils in here. Just a few actual pencils. Um, basically, every time she takes this out, if I sit to help her with some work or something, I'll give it a little tidy up, give it a little sharpen and things for her. And um, just kind of gives me something to do while I'm sat with her. I don't get bored in the nicest possible way. Um, and she has her scissors and, and a Pritt stick in here. But what I'm thinking is if she's only got two Pritt sticks, let's see which ones work. So that's the other thing. We often find that we're keeping loads of random bits that don't actually work anymore. Um, the lollipop sticks, I'm gonna relocate to here because I have a stash of lollipop sticks here. And we might as well have them all together. I'm gonna leave them in, leave those ones in their bag. And um, those are all plain. Some of these have got bits of painting and stuff on, so I'll leave them grouped together. googly eyes and things so like these we didn't use these for such a long time I was at the verge of getting rid of them and she has used them and she will make them into things now and um, I actually brought them to do something else with a project for me and then they relocated to those but had she not turned around and started using them you kind of have to put a bit of a window on when you will use the actual item and um, you don't just want it sitting around forever like it's a Sunday item and you're never going to use it oh here's a good one it's a little jigsaw that came with something um so i'm gonna pull this out because she has a i've got to make up a pass the parcel soon this can go in the pass the parcel be useful to something uh chalk pencil case um so she has a little bundle of pencils and now she's only got a few print sticks i might put those into there a little door fairy door made spare rubber Bubbles, they don't need to be in here. We don't, oh, bloody bubbles. Oh, bloody bubbles. Um, and then we can shake out that pot. Um, easily, please. Um, so she's got a few bits and pieces in here. I need some random bits. Let's put those in there, I think. And the lollies in there. I'm going to put those in there too, actually. They're sort of more the things that I'll do with her. Whereas this one, I kind of, 
you need to have a think if it's easy access for your kids is it stuff that you're happy them doing by themselves or are you happy that they won't do it unless they are so i'm fairly confident that she won't get these out without asking it's quite a messy one but in the end it's not a huge bag it's only tissue paper um there's no glitter or anything horrendous in there so i'm quite happy for her to have that in here um so what have we got going on now we've got to sort out so those are all little arts and crafty ones pen a spare pencils let's have a look at the prit stick situation what have we got going on that's about usable we'll put that one in there what are you doing you're still usable let's see what these two are like uh, yep two yep let's twist it down so it's not sticking to this so there's four prit sticks there that still work so I'll leave one in there and put the others in here. And then I'm also going to put the pencil overflow situation into here as well. Um, this one's super cute, but she finds it's just small. It's really hard to write with a pencil with a ladybug on it. Um, it makes it quite tricky for little hands. So let's put those spare ones in there. I'm going to take a couple more of these out, actually. So tell you what, when she has four or five pencils in her pencil case, when I'm talking about when I say that, I mean like normal, just plain pencils. She can never find one. I might give her three to be on the safe side. And um, if she had five or six in there, she'd never be able to find one. Whereas if she just got a couple, she always seems to be able to find one. And I'm gonna put the spare rubber in here as well. I know it's not as fun, but I would suggest just trying to get the standard rubbers and the standard pencil sharpeners. Don't go for something stupid and faffy and clever. She's got this other one in her other pencil case. It's like a rabbit that bites her granny got her, but it just doesn't sharpen as well. Just get one that's going to work and have a pretty pencil case. That's fine. Um, which does mean we don't think you fit in there. No, so this box, you'll fit in there. I'm just going to stand these up and group them together so they're in like a little box together just sort of divides it up and means things will stand up better with the other items in there too there we go all the sticky on things and then all her crayons and, and pencils and what have you go sideways oh even better no not quite oh so close I got a smaller box. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I think all I have is bigger boxes, unfortunately. Uh, oh no, that kind of fits. Slightly smaller. Kind of works. Kind of works. Yeah, that works. instead we really want to make you don't want to overfill them or make it too hard to get the things in because they just won't put anything in there um we did that and that no i'm over complicating that Overcomplicating that one completely. Let's just stand them up like that. That's fine. Done. Fine. Don't overcomplicate kids' organisation because it just won't get maintained at all. That's not how they're going to stay, but I'm just moving out of the way so I can deal with these two bad boys. So, what have we got here? So, we've got these two pouches of bits but i would like to her to just have one of these in here i think it's just a bit too much it ends up in a big mess um i'm gonna say we take that on a holiday to do with us at some point lots of note lined notepads um that we found clearing out daddy's office um hmm I might put that in with my stationary overflow, actually. I might let go of one of them because she doesn't actually like having lined paper. Um, so, and just notepads seem to appear all over the place all the time. 
Um, so actually, I'm going to keep the most full one and get rid of the other two, less to deal with. So we have colouring books, the colour by numbers she does like doing. Uh, that's art, that can come out. Colour by numbers. Trace and colour, how long has she had this? Um, there's a few bits left to do, but not a huge amount. And there's actually some, some game bits. I'm going to have that in our pile to take away. And then once that's done, that's done. Uh, this is her favourite one. This is actually just a book with plain people in. And it just goes to show kids don't need fancy stuff. She just likes the plain bodies that she then designs clothes on or gives them hairstyles. Um, but she likes just <laughs> loads of them have got sticker faces on. But she just, yeah, she likes designing clothes. Some of them she's stuck like scrap fabric to. Much better. Um, butterfly activity book. She got this for her birthday. She hasn't done a huge amount in it yet. She's done quite a bit. Um, that's a keep either way. Either way, it's a keep. Um, this was an envelope she wanted to colour in that was from her cousins. However, she's had it a long time now and she hasn't done anything with it. So we're going to let that go. Some more stickers. We can go in the sticker pouch. She briefly really got into this whiteboard. Um, but I don't really feel like she's used it that much since. Um, it's bizarrely handy. though. But I'm just going to take it out of her area so she's not overwhelmed by her options her happy self journal we jump in and out of doing this and um, it would be quite nice to get back to doing it again but we're not at the moment and um, but i'm going to don't need the bubbles stupid bubble things um i hate bubbles uh, i like bubbles i just hate the bubble things um this we finished the rubber there to go into her with her spare rubbers. Where's that gone? Pop that in there. And look, we've emptied one out, and we certainly haven't got a pile of all the that many left, which is the wider one. I'm hoping to just use one of these. That's the plan. Let me narrow it down to one. They're quite wide, these ones. You can get skinnier ones, so I guess that's an option. Um Another line pad of paper, but she just likes plain paper. She doesn't like having lines on things, so that might as well go. We've got enough plain. <laughs> so much gold sparkly paper. They were left over from invites from her birthday years and years ago. More, where did all this lined paper come from? I, I don't even remember this ending up in here. Um, oh, she does like this one, but again, when they have so many things, they can't actually find the things they love. So she loves this one. It's got lots of stencils in and you can cut out the clothes. Um, very dear friend gave it to us. Um, and she absolutely loves doing it, but it's got a bit buried. Um, so we will pull it out. Is one of these deeper than the other one? Ah, yes. So this is the one we're going to try and use because it's actually deeper. So it's the same width but it's, it's got more depth on it, which means hopefully it will fit this book in a bit better because that one's a little bit wider than A4. Right, and then we are on to paper. So artwork does not stay with the arts and crafts stuff. We actually have a separate cupboard that we move things into. Um, so, and then we go through it and we take pictures of what she wants to keep. That's part of that book. So I'm gonna go through and split off anything from art and paper and um, she also seems to be shying away from coloured paper uh, that we can still get a lot of use out of that's not art that's a colour pencil to show gets messy very quickly and um, have to keep things simple uh, it doesn't matter anymore Right, plain coloured paper that hasn't been used. I mean, sometimes I put it roughly in colour order, but it's not going to stay in colour order, so I don't really see a point. <laughs> roughly, roughly colour order. And um, this card, 
She's got this rainbow card that I used for something, and this was leftovers of that. A lot, actually. Um, I will probably use some of that for... Um, it wouldn't go through the printer. I was trying to print directly onto it, and in the end I had to... It just didn't work, so it didn't get used. Um, but I'm going to try and use it to make certificates again. Uh, I feel like that can that can go. That can go. That's more of the coloured things. Fluttershy! I have a horrible feeling that was meant to be me. But we won't dwell on that. That is art, not paper. That has got mud on it. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, that's art, that's art. See, that's the thing. So much of this is actually artwork, not plain paper ready for her to do something with. More lined paper. I don't know where any of that came from. Um, probably take it up to the cottage for emergency colouring supplies. Uh, I can get in that pile. So I'm putting all the coloured paper and card together and then I've got another pile that's more sort of stuff you'd cut up to make into other things, so like the ombre paper. Um, art. Or if it's got chunks already cut out of it, then that's going over there. I mean, it probably won't stay grouped like that, but this is start. And then I'll put white paper together because she often favours the white paper, if I'm honest. Get a look at it. Um, so you just have to know your kid or know yourself. If you aren't going to use ripped up paper, um, like she will always pass over the ripped up bits and not use them. Um, she wants a nice paint piece. She doesn't like the lined paper. I'll keep one for some writing practice. She likes like little notebooks and things that she uses. She's got, um, has one in the car for her colouring and stuff. So, um, I don't know what that is. Um, so and this is all the, the bits that are good for cutting up. I had a punch hole pocket, a punch hole pocket. I'd probably put that in there. Um, so the things that aren't as regular usage, like she'll pull out a piece of paper and draw quite often. So I'm not going to put that in any kind of separate pouch. However, the cut up bits and these bits she won't use as often. So they could go into little separate pouches um, if you have them. Um, however, I wouldn't worry too much about going out and buying them. It's just a case of if you've got them, you could use them. You go in. Right. Now, this is the question. Well, all of this fit in here. All these go in. Yes, they fit. Will the book fit? Just super long, super long book. And those ones, and actually I'm going to turn those round so the spines are actually sticking out. And um, I'm going to put you in there. I just love that book. Um, and then, will these fit in there, or do I want to try and do something else with them? That card making it does fit. And then that's, that's not too full. If I could find, or I keep that one out, put that one in. I think I'm going to relocate that one because we seem to have taken a pause from it at the moment. I might put it back on the bookshelf. And then she's got space for her two notepads in there. And then I'm going to see if I can do something else with this space here. Um, I don't know what yet, but something. Is that the bottom? It's a bit short now. No, let's go for that way. 
portemonnaie. Ha ha! Victory. Fit down the side nicely. And it's not too overflowing. It's kind of obvious where because she's not likely to take all of this out. If she at five, if she emptied all of this out and was doing lots of things with it, I would probably help her put it back in so it fit it back in. If she takes one thing out of this to use or two things, which is more her style, um, she'd be able to put it back in. But it's just knowing your kid, like how old are they? Are they going to be able to handle that? Um, which means that that will fit in nicely there and she can get everything. That looks a lot better. That's going to go onto the bookshelf. Um, and then we have a couple of bits from here so we have her mat for her painting mat and then the face paints there and probably put her photos on top of there wow I feel like I've cleared out a lot looks a lot more organized doesn't it lovely lovely a lot less for her to have to deal with um a lot less choices that need to be made um, I might put, because I will forget <laughs> at some point, I'll put a face paint and Play-Doh on there so we remember what they're for um, and label these up. But um, my label maker's buried in the garage and there's lots of dust in there at the moment because we've been sanding furniture. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but there you go. Um, Arts and Crafts was quite a simple one today. Um, a bit shorter than normal, which is nice. How long have we been going? Oh, we're going 40 minutes. I feel like that's fair enough. Um, but a little bit of a tidy up, a little bit of being honest with yourself of are you going to actually use the thing? Will you actually get around to using the thing? All of that jazz, because um, it's quite hard to part with arts and crafts thing. Um, it's it's like, <laughs> you're like, oh, but it doesn't take up much room. But actually, it makes the cup like so much harder to manage the cupboard or the trolley or whatever you've got. Um, and like I said, I'd like to get to a point where all my daughter's stuff and my stuff can fit on this trolley together. Um, but at the moment, we're not there. We've got lots of bits that we will use up. Um, like the lolly sticks became a whole thing. Um, and there's some more longer term bits and pieces on here. Or it might be that we have our own art carts. We have an art cart each or something. And um, we just happen to have a lot of additional cupboard space in this kitchen. So this works quite nicely that this cupboard and this cupboard are hers in the kitchen. Um, so instead of having a toy box out or lots of toys out, she's got these two cupboards to put things in. And so the arts and crafts are in there. Hi, Michelle. Lovely to see you. Um, yes, I will be getting these up on YouTube. I had to sync my YouTube accounts and do this whole thing, which I did get done. At the end of last week and over the weekend so i nearly put i'm moving all my youtube videos into one account under one email and so i can get to them easier because i kind of i wasn't uploading on youtube to show it on youtube anymore i was only uploading it so i could and then leaving it as private and then embedding it in the membership um however these videos i've been i was like oh we might as well put these up on youtube and um, and then I was like, oh, so now I need an actual account <laughs> that looks like an account. So um, if you search the Lifestyle Coach on YouTube, hopefully I will appear. It's about 250 subscribers. That's me. And yeah, once you click on it, you'll see my branding and you should know it's me. And um, hopefully, otherwise I'm not doing very well with my branding. If you can't recognise it's me. <laughs> um, so there we go. Beautifully organised thingy uh, arts and crafts cupboard. I should have taken before and after pictures. And again, I forgot. I'm going to have to go through the videos and get stills from all the video clips, but we'll see. Uh, I know my partner needs to come in the kitchen to make my daughter her after school snack. So I will sign off. Um, have an amazing day. We've got another couple of these going on this week, one tomorrow morning. So the one that was meant to be on the morning last week that I didn't get around to doing because I had a bad headache is tomorrow. So we've got Tupperware tomorrow morning. And then there's a little break. And then we have kitchen gadgets, I think it's called. I think that's what I called it. Um, so all those things, the coffee machines, that all this and that. Um, I'm, I know I've got at least one thing I need to get rid of in there. So but there's not much. We use a lot of our kitchen stuff. We are, we have quite a lot of kitchen stuff, but we do tend to use pretty much all of it and not just at Christmas. So, but I know there's something we haven't used since we've moved in here. So it's, um, it's time for it to go. It's time for it to go.
time to say goodbye um have an amazing day stay motivated stay focused on your top priorities and i will see you soon ta-ta for now